What's your name? Where are you coming from? I'm Dan Zeitman, and I'm a developer advocate from Cloudinary, San Francisco. Okay, cool. And so, um, what are well, you going to talk about? We're going to talk about building a Miniflix clone with Vue and the contest we're having. Okay, cool. Go yeah. ahead. So um, you probably saw we're on the badge. Yay. <laughs> And we're sponsoring this fun little contest. There's some cards flying around there, but the bit.ly link is view-video. And what we wanted to do was do some stuff with the community. We wanted to hold a contest. And we realized that part of, part of the developer advocacy is figuring out where developers are going next and trying to understand how that can impact your product that you're trying to uh, do. So we wanted to poll interest, so we decided to do a contest. We wanted folks to dog food our new video APIs that we're doing, and we wanted to create better training materials, and so that's the reason we're doing this contest. So um, let's take a quick look at what that's all about. So we created this uh, Gitbook. Who's familiar with Gitbook? So it's basically a really cool way to present training material for folks. Everything is in one particular end URL, and you can step-by-step -step walk people through what's going on. And so let's look at the demo application that we're asking people to view. It's called Miniflix, and it's essentially a, a Netflix clone. You have, put a little volume up. I even imagine. Uh -huh. I've seen aliens. You have trailers. From the sky. Yeah. You can jump around from one to the next. Pretty fun, pretty simple. It's kind of our it's kind of our version of a to do app or a training. We want to get people up and running pretty quick. But one thing I noticed was with video apps in general, they're really hard to optimize to make them work really well and really fast. And um, if you'll notice in this app, we've left a couple of things for you guys to work on, and one of them is. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. One of them is. The interface could be better, right? It's jumping around because the sizes of the videos change a lot. And uh, fortunately, uh, if you host the videos on Cloudinary, there's this wonderful opportunity to take the videos and resize them essentially on the fly just by changing the URL. Can you, let's see if you can see that URL, but you'll see I have a width of 400. And so the idea with Cloudinary is you can just add some things to the uh, URL path and then transform and transcode on the fly. What you're seeing is uh, a real-time transformation of a video. And so one of the things you can do in the contest is fix that little bit where it's jumping from size to size by changing the transformation. The other bit is we, images is the same problem. In here, um, Christian, who coded this, put in a 620 by 180 uh, image into where the logo goes. So as you can see, that's cramming something in there that doesn't need to be that large. And again, it's the same idea. You have your logo, and you just simply put in a modifier to that to make the ch size change. And then once you've done that, the, the transformation happens all the time on the cache. So um, just real quickly stepping through some of the stuff. It's a very basic application we've built. 
with three components. There's a video player component. And here we're creating an instance of the Cloudinary player. And we're adding a cropping transformation. That's kind of the hint on how you might handle this, where you can, you can transform the video uh, when it gets pulled up. Uh, a standard list component we've seen. And then we also have an upload widget um, so that you can make this uh, so you can make this have the ability for like an admin interface where you might upload uh, a video and a banner and it just pulls up our upload widget. So um, our goal here is to see if you guys can build something uh, really fun and uh, so how do you win this? You just have to enter. It's pretty simple. Make your projects different and showcase view. We really want to see what the community can do because that's our goal is we want to find out uh, what sort of interest uh, folks have in view in general. We know you all are interested here. That's a pretty much a no-brainer. But in general, we're looking to figure out uh, what sort of interesting things people can do in view. So again, thanks. I'm Dan Zeitman from Cloudinary.